Hey, what's going on? My name's Martin, and today I'm going to show you how we can create a master detail app within Podio using ProcFu and the Super Menu. We can go into our Invoices app. For this demonstration, we've opened a Mechanics Garage. Within our Invoices app, we've created an invoice. We have the customer, the date, the billing address, the total, and here we have a calculation field that has a table in as such. From here, we can add a new item. We can search our products. We can add a battery. We can define the quantity. We can say the customer had three batteries. You'll see then that the total is updated. And if we just refresh the table from here, we can see that the subtotal for the three batteries has been added in. So what we'll need for this is pretty basic, actually. First. We're going to need the Podio Super Menu. We can get this from the web store. It's free. It comes with a lot of different functionalities. I highly recommend you download this. We'll add a link to the Super Menu in the description. So then in Podio, we have four different apps. We have our customers. The customers app is very basic. It just has the name and the invoice address. We then have our products. Our products is just what we're selling. We have a product name and a price for that product. We then have our line items. These are all going to be referenced to the invoice. Within the line items, we have our invoice as a relationship field, the product as a relationship field, the quantity, it's just a number field, and the subtotal. The subtotal being the sum of the price of the product times the quantity. Then within our invoices app, we have created an invoice here. Just have the invoice number, the customer as a relationship field, the date the invoice is due, the billing address, total, and line items. But I will show you how to create that a bit later down the road. So now let's look at our setup within ProcFu. We can go into our line items app, hit edit, and look at the overall configuration. We'll start with the configuration screen. All we need to do here is check that this mini app will be an iframe is ticked. Once we have this tick, we can give it a basic name, whatever you want to call it. We've called it line items. Then for our screens, our start screen will have the authentication of Podio. And we don't need anything else in terms of the authentication app. We can set this to none. And on success, we can go to the next screen which we've called just the generic screen one. So for the setup, we need to make sure the type is the Podio app summary. From there, we get our line items app as our first Podio app. We then are using the relationship field within the line items app, and the relationship is going to be our invoices app. We're going to display it as a spreadsheet and then define which columns we want to show within our table. We've selected product, quantity, and subtotal. We've also locked subtotal because it's a calculation field. We don't really need to make any changes to it. We also need to select the app that we are using, which in our case is the invoices app, but we can hide this so we don't have to display it. We do need to add in some default code. We're going to use the markdown token of PF app item and then add in our app ID. This is how we're gonna automatically add our invoice item to the reference field of each line item that we add in our table. We can get the app ID by going to our app, hitting the wrench, going to developer, and we can find it here. App ID for invoices. We can copy this and then we can insert it here. So you just need to change your number based off the ID of your app. In the header of our app, we've also added in some styling. We've given it a font size, we've defined the height, and we've added in some styling for our buttons. This just styles it a little more like the current Podio interface, so everything just fits a little nicer together. In our behaviors tab, we then need to add two bits of code. 
The first we'll go into before process. We're going to first get the current app items, which again, we're going to have to insert the ID of our master app, which in our case is invoices. And then we're going to set the URL parameters as .item ID, which we're going to push later from Podio, which you'll see when we add the calculation field. Essentially what we're doing here is before our table loads, in order for the table to know which items it needs to populate into the table, we are setting our current app item ID by getting the item ID from the URL parameters. So in our case, it's going to be our invoices item, but for you, it can be whatever. Don't forget, all of the code you see is gonna be down below in the description. So then the next bit of code we need to add is on our on render section. Here we are defining the buttons and the function of the buttons. So as you can see within our table here, we have a new button and a refresh button. So here we're just saying what we want the action to be when we hit new and what we expect the action to be when we hit refresh. So of course the refresh button is going to refresh the screen and the add new button is going to insert a new row into our table. So once we have that set up done within ProcFu, we can then go over to our Podio invoices app and add in our table to the calculation field. So if we go to modify template, we can see our line items calculation field here. I'll bring it to the middle of the page so it's easier to see. So first we're gonna comment in a some kind of token. We're gonna use unique ID here. The reason we have to do this is because Podio doesn't let you create a calculation field without referencing at least something from Podio, whether that be a field or just the unique ID as we've done here. We are then going to define the link and the tags that super menu is going to use to create the table. So first we need to get the link of our mini app, which we can do by coming out of our mini app right here, and we can see the link here. So first we can copy that right into here. We are then defining what our item ID parameters are going to be. So if you remember back when we were setting up the before process right here, we defined our URL parameters as item ID. So we are using the item ID here and telling the super menu to get the item ID of the current item we are in. Then the super menu will recognize this Globiflow iframe tag and know that it should convert this link into an iframe. The 250 is set in the size. You can change this as you want. 250 is just a nice size that we've added in. So that's it. I'm going to move the calculation field back down to the bottom as we had it before. Save our settings. And now we're ready to add items as we please. Select the quantity and we're good to go. This can be done for any kind of table you would want to create. The only thing to bear in mind here, for anyone to use this, each person would have to have the Podio Super menu. There is a way to, without the Podio Super menu and implementing some proc script, but it just slows the process down a little bit. And this is much simpler. So I hope that you are able to implement this into your system. As I said, all the code that you saw in this demonstration will be in the description below, along with a link to the Podio blog for many more ProcFu, Podio, Globiflow, PWA tips. Thanks and see you next time.